Nora, you're not going to get anything out of Lindsay, so you better let me handle it. I have to go there anyway for Sam's estate. Maybe I can get her to slip. Give it a try. I promise you, Val, if she did kill Sam, I'm not going to let her get away with it. Besides, I think you're suddenly busy. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi, Nora. Honey, what are you doing? Oh, I came to invite you to dinner. And Nora, you're very welcome to join us. I know you two are still working. No, actually, we're uh, done. What? Yeah, I am actually on my way out. I'll give you a call. Okay. Yes. Hey, how are you, sweetie? Mm. What are you doing here? I forgot to get the, the check for the dry cleaning from you. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Sorry, put it in my pocket. Yeah. Hey, Matthew. How's it going? It's okay. And uh, there's something else. Yeah. Let's put our flowers on the soccer game this afternoon. Well, I have an idea. How about I take you? How about Dr. Troy? What am I, Chuck Liver? Well, you're a girl, and that's for boys only. That's all right. I guess I just won't go. I'm sorry, honey. Hey, Matthew, you know what? I used to be a soccer player a <laughs> long time ago, so if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to come see your game. Is it okay, Mommy? Sure is. <laughs> sure. We had to get you home and suit it up. All right. I'll see you later, Champ, okay? You can get one for me? Okay. Matthew, see you at the game, huh? Come on. Thank you. I'm happy to do it. You don't mind, do you, honey? You played soccer? No, I played football. But at least I want Matthew to think that he's got somebody there watching that knows a little about the game. Sure you okay with me taking the time? I think you're wonderful. <laughs> I'll second that. You're still here. I need to talk to you. We were just on our way out. This is about my father. Of course. About who, who killed him. Do you know something, Chet? Commissioner? Hmm? The lab wants you to see some ballistics results. Now? They said it's important. Another time. Another time. Don't worry. All right, don't forget I got Matthew's soccer game. Man, I'll see you tonight. You know what? Mm. I have so much to make up for with you. <gasps> You. You coming in for your missed tutoring session? Uh, look, Mom, before you start on me, I have to finish your paper, okay? Okay, all right. Just try not to miss any more, okay? I promise. Great. Take out again, huh? Yeah. We were on our way out to dinner, and then, surprise, surprise, he had to work. Is he working on a big case? Yes, he is. Yeah, he and Nora are doing a lot of work. Together. You're not jealous, are you? I don't know why I should be. It's, uh, she's only his ex-wife, and he's only taking her son to a soccer game tonight. You are jealous. You know what? I really don't have a reason to be, because Bo loves me very much, and we have a wonderful relationship, and, and I feel very secure in that relationship. I actually do feel secure in that relationship. Thank you. I always feel so much better when I talk to you. This is for Commissioner Buchanan. It's a legal document. Could you sign, please? Sure. Oh, wait. One second. Thanks. I'll be Thank sure you. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Addressed to Nora Buchanan and Bo Buchanan. Dear 
Honorary Commissioner Buchanan, Samuel Rappaport left instructions with this firm that upon his death, the enclosed letter should be delivered to you at once. Enclosed letter? Dear Bo and Nora, if you're reading this, it means I'm already gone. And there are things... And there are things I need to tell you. Things I should have said years ago. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. Because I love Matthew so much. I couldn't bear to lose him. But now that I have, I don't want Matthew to be alone in the world. He needs more than his mother. He needs his father, too. And that's you, Bo. I'm sorry I kept this from you. But you're Matthew's biological father. 